The reason we have spent so much time here just on 10 verses is because these are Mormon's last words. I want you to consider if today was the last day of your life and you shut this video off and you realize you have three, six, nine hours left before you're done with this life, what last words would you preserve? What would you say and to whom? And this is what we have Mormon doing. It's his last words. And we all know that last words are often the most important words. So I encourage you to think about that. What would your last words be? What would you teach and why? And if again, if we look at what Mormon is focusing on, of all the things he could teach, he decided to teach the most important things, the focus on Jesus Christ, that we should all repent and find ourselves back in his presence. Now, I want to talk about this for just a, another minute or two. Not only is Mormon's last words right here, the next two chapters we'll be looking at, Moroni, who takes up in Mormon 8 and 9, he doesn't know how long he's going to be alive. In some ways, it's his last words. Very interesting. It actually turns out that much of the Book of Mormon could be read as last words. We've been reading from Alma and Helaman, where fathers are teaching their children their last words of how to trust God and to believe. Uh, we remember Lehi teaching his family. In fact, the Book of Mormon itself is last words. So there's deep significance throughout the entire Book of Mormon, its last words. Of all the things you could ever say, what would you say and why would it matter? And maybe to bring it a little closer to home, there's a lot of chaos in the world today. Many of us are spending time sharing opinions and saying lots of things in many media, in many formats. Maybe we should ask ourselves, am I focusing on what matters most? If it really was my last day, what would I post on social media? What would I say to those that I love? And am I really focusing on things that bring joy, purpose, and ultimately invitation to God's salvation? So as we conclude Mormon's words, we just hope that all of us can just feel the enormous sincerity and love and the power of his last words to us and that we would take them seriously in these latter days to repent, to trust God's covenants so that we can dwell eternally in his presence.